Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel. As you can see, we've got quite the pile of deliveries that have come in over the last few days. And I've even got something else off camera that I want to show off. But since we've got a lot to do, let's say we just get into it and we'll get the boring stuff out of the way first. No bonus points for guessing what's in this first mailer. So this is from Amazon. So let's go ahead and see where we're going to be able to pull the damn thing apart. Um, looks like I'm going to need a pair of scissors. Fortunately, I started keeping a pair in here, even if it's a smaller pair. Looks like it'll do the job, though, for what I need here. Now I should be able to tear it through. And hey, look at that. We got more sleeves. My usual brand of Ultra Pro clear sleeves. I've had a couple of sleeving projects that I've been waiting to deal with. And there's a new campaign box coming out for Arkham Horror the card game later this year. So I generally try to stay ahead of the need for sleeves as I need to. So we can bring that off shot and bring in one of our next mailers. This is a rather shaped, oddly shaped mailer and packed somewhat strange, but let's see what we've got in here. So if this is what I think it is, it'll explain the shape in a hurry. I can throw that away. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I know what this is. It was taking me a minute to be like, wait. I know what this is, though. Okay, these are the... This isn't what I thought it was then. So these are actually elastic box bands that you can use to keep your board games secure. I had this more in mind for a for a 9x13 pan where the lid wasn't quite wanting to stick correctly, but this will probably work for that as well. I wonder if there's a... doesn't give a size of what it supports. It just says elastic box bands. So I can move those to the side and we'll bring one of the boxes into shot next. We've got another box here from Amazon. Given what was in the last mailer, I think what I think one of the things that's going to be in here is what I was expecting to be in there based on the shape. But let's take a look and see what we've got in here. I should be able to just pull that at this point. There we go. Whoa! I think we had a little bit of a giveaway on one of the things that's in here. But I'll go ahead and break the canned air. Close that carefully. There we go. First thing that we see in here is we've got a new electric shaver. It looks, looks like a 7-in-1. And it's got USB charging. Okay, good. I was hoping for that. But yeah, this is a new shaver I can use for my head as I try to keep the bald look going on, which I kind of do like. And you might have heard it a little bit when I cracked it open, but we'll break a little more of this bagged air. I'll reopen the bl actually, yeah, we we'll reopen the blade for a second. Okay. And we'll see that we've got a call bell in here. Now I know you're probably thinking to yourself right now, you're probably thinking, Phoenix Knight, this looks really out of place. Well, it does look out of place until you factor in that I've got a game where I've been using a makeshift bell in Title Bout 2. So now I've got a proper bell that I can use. But let's see. We'll give this a quick sound check and see what I think of it. There we go. Okay. That'll, for the purposes I need it for... That'll work as a round start and end point. So yeah, that'll work. That'll work very nicely for my Title Bout 2 games. I'll have to be careful to transport it in a way that it won't start ringing every five seconds, but I can probably cross that bridge when I get to it. Next up, we've got our last mailer from Amazon. This looks like it should be another couple of books given the thickness, but let's get this open and see what we've got in here. Fortunately, it's a nice, easy, tear-to-open mailer, and what we've got in here is another book game called Mag 23 Guadalcanal. It's a solitaire war game from Historic Wings and Thomas Van Hare. Take a look on the back. Of course, it's a solitaire game. Complexity 5 out of 10. Age range 10 plus. Time to play 15 to 16 minutes. 
Guadalcanal is a solitaire air war game in a narrative style. Tactical, operational, and strategic decision making are required. The action comes together in your logbook, where you capture the stories and events of a seven and a half week deployment at Henderson Field. Will your F4F Wildcats defeat Japan's G4M Betty Bombers and its many aces in their A6M Zeros? Will you stop the Tokyo Express? Designed by Thomas Van Hare, this is the second in a, of a series of book-based war games. It features fast-paced, fast-playing action that unfolds in the skies over Iron, Bo Iron Bot Bottom Sound and Savo. Each game day is its own game, and together, the days become an entire campaign as you lead your pilots into combat and face the jungle, desert, or disease, naval bombardment, fuel shortages, and Japan's finest aces. I mean that when it comes to bravery, there isn't anybody in the world that can beat us. I don't think the United States has an episode in its history that can touch what's been done here. Richard Trugascus, Guadalcanal Diary. And we'll, we'll do a separate book on, we'll do a separate open the book on this game a little bit later. Probably sometime this weekend, I would expect. But the other thing we've got in here, ooh, there's the logbook, a gameplay aid for Mag 23 Guadalcanal. We'll just give that a quick little thumb through. Looks like it's just a looks like it's just a writing pad essentially. Okay, cool. All right, no point in doing an open the book on this because it looks like it's just mostly blank pages. But that'll definitely be food for thought for later. Anyway, we've got one more box here. So let's get into that. After my debacle with Noble Knight over Hornet Leader and Hornet Leader the Cthulhu conflict from Danvers and Games, I did decide to give them another chance because there was something on there that caught my eye that's related to tomorrow's game on the channel. But let's see what we've got in here. Crack this open. Okay, cool. And I see craft paper in here is a thing. I don't know why, given what's in here, or what should be in here. Access paper can hit the bin. 10% bonus on your first trade, except I've done a lot of trades with them. But what we've got in here is a Ziploc bag for expansion counter sheets for target for today. I wonder if there's a, looks like, okay, yep, there is a manual in here on how to use these, but I'm not going to use these in my playthrough of target for today tomorrow on the channel, just because obviously I haven't had a chance to learn it yet. But that's it for that box. Now I want to show something, off, something else off. If you're a regular follower of the channel, then you know that I just hit my 15 year milestone with my current company a couple of weeks ago. As part of the 15-year anniversary congratulations, I had a choice of a couple of gifts. I could have gotten either a wine set with a decanter or a set of luggage. As you can see here, I chose the luggage because I took one look at the wine set and I'm like, what the hell am I going to do with a set of wine glasses and a wine decanter? Because I don't drink wine anymore. I had my experiments with it in the past, but not anymore. So we've got a pretty big spinner bag here. I'll take that. See if I can get... There we go. Let's see, this is a 28 inch soft spinner. This looks like a really slick piece of luggage. We'll get this open. I apologize in advance for having my Harry Armin shot. In addition to that, we've got a backpack in the exact same style of the one I actually use to bring my stuff to work with me every day. In addition to that, we've got a smaller spinner in here as well. So it might have been, well, I don't know if it's going to end up being a new game store bag or not, but I do like the look of it. And it fits in here very nicely, as does the backpack. Which can go right back in here. That will probably disappear back into my bedroom. But yeah, I've got a nice new, got a really nice new set of luggage here that I'm probably going to end up using. A lot of pockets on here too. So that's it for, that's it for this product unboxing. Tomorrow we're on track to play the 10th and last game on my Attack of Wargaming list as we play Target for Today from Legion Wargames. 
Saturday Mystical Munchies will be the end of the Necro Nom 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 cookbook as we cook up Moon Beast pies. Those look like they'll be chocolate whoopie pies with strawberry jam. And Sunday we're back to the familiar universe of Terra Mystica. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.